Why are you here, my friend? Only so much I can do, man. Your daughter's gonna need to come by herself. Or I got a daughter. You gotta let her come by yourself, man. You can't, you can't drive. Dude, drive away right now. Drive away right now. Your daughter's with me? Is that your grandchild in there? My daughter. No, but the grandchild in her room, right? Yeah. Dude, you gotta go in and save her. Come on. I've already tried, brother. Hey, I, let Come me on, give you some love, bro. I got it. Hey, we're not against you at all, you know what I'm saying? I know, I, I believe you. I was just looking for this, bro. I can hear that, but dude, you, you've got it. I just went in there, man. I just, hey, I, Precious I, I, life. I gave it all I could, man. Precious I tried and tried for about for a week now. It's her decision now. Right. At the end of the day, it's her life, man. So, but you drove her. It's the life of your body. She's just being a dad. Yeah. So, just a second, though. Just like, You said it's her life? I know. Oh, trust me. It's not her. Hey, listen. She's not the victim. If I didn't bring her here, she's going to do it on her own, man. And some of these kids, oh, man, they got to eat. They take an easy way out. Because listen, whenever I was her, when I was her age, we got her pregnant, we had her. We kept her. It's your grandchild, man. This The precious victim inside is what we're talking about, you know? Not about the grandchild. Not about her at all. You know? You gotta do it. You gotta. You gotta save this life, man. Go ahead and talk to her, man. Go ahead and talk to her, man. You gotta, you gotta hey, take I've, every I've, opportunity, every chance. Hey, I've got. I feel. Can you give her the one of those? Yeah. The thing is, like, people get people get here just just for your like notification. Yeah. People get here, and all of a sudden it hits. You know what I'm saying? And like, it, the reality hits. This is another it's opportunity. A See, it's so it's so, a heavy one. So it took her to church on Sunday. Whenever you're at this point, they make this their life. They make the decision. I can only do so much as a parent. So, me and her mom. Are so, all I can do is drive her here and say, "Hey, I give her one more shot. She wants to do it. That's her choice." If she wanted to shoot her ex-boyfriend in she the probably, face for being a jerk, would, would, would you drive her to shoot her ex-boyfriend yes, in the face? Yes, I probably would. Depending on what he did to her. But I probably no. But what if her. he didn't do anything? This baby didn't do anything. Oh, you know, I maybe he was a jerk or whatever. But what if she was like, "Look, Dad, he was a jerk to me. He you're didn't touch me." You're preaching to the wrong guy, right? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help you understand like in keep in perspective. Yeah. I'm not trying to hate on you at all. No, no, you, know, you understand? No, no, I get it. That's why I got out of my truck and talked so to I, you. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, that. I appreciate this it. my concern at this moment, because it's time sensitive, yeah. is the baby. Well, know? this is this is my thing. This is where we've always been. I, and I've told her, you know, growing up, I was like, look, you ever have something like this you can't take care of it, we'll take care of it. You know, well, I'll take care of it myself, yeah. you know. And uh and, and still it's like it's 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 where we're at these days, man. It's just they're getting beat up left and right. And that's why I came out here to talk to you. I was wanting to know, because I see you guys on TV all the time. You fight, you know, we try to fight a good battle at, at church too, you know what I mean? But does this even, does this keep somebody from 1% stopping what they're doing? It sometimes does, yeah. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, y'all Absolutely. keep doing it then, man. I don't, y'all don't bother hey, me. Even if that's we never had a single truck. person talk to us, it's still worth it because we've got to yeah. obey God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've got I mean, to, at, at the end of the day, that's, yeah. that's it. Got, it's kind of like the. To, we're commanded. Yeah. Right? It's we're like the babies. To, the babies have no voice speaking up for them most of the time. Yeah. You know, and like we're the only yeah. ones who will do that. Trust that me, man. Trust me. Disorder, if I could do right? anything else, if, if the law would let me, I would do it. Have but. you like? Look, man, you shed. Have you shed tears yeah, on yeah. bended knee? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I. I yeah, that's what I've, I've told her. I go. Look, we we even did this on Sunday. I go. I'm gonna give you one last chance before I have to go to Oklahoma. You're gonna have to tell me for sure. This is something you want to do. So she said, yeah. So. This is your flesh and blood, yeah. you know. That baby, I mean, the girl, yes, yeah, like your daughter, but the baby oh, I know. is your it's flesh part and of blood. Our, it's got our DNA in it. It's yeah. part of our DNA. It's, that is your family yeah. exactly. that she's putting in danger now. She's going to pay this dude, this pervert, yeah. 600 bucks. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, waiting, I'm, waiting for them all, I'm waiting for them all to go away. He's so gonna, then I won't, they won't have a chance. He's going to spread her legs and look inside her intimate parts yeah. and tear up your flesh and blood in there. You yep. know, and, there's and more if, you can do. And if we can't have a grandchild again, I'm going to be off. Right. I'm going to be off of this. But I mean, who am I going to You still got a chance. Yeah. You still got a chance even it's now. Still she, hey, she, she got out the. Hey, listen, when I, I, when I mean I gave you 110% before I came out, I gave you 110%. So, I mean, other than, that, other than that, I could not take her, but somebody else will bring her out here. Have you, have you, you talked to her about. Better than, than you. Have, I know. Have you talked to her about. Uh, like and trust, don't want you to talk to us. And trust to me, and trust me, that's what I said too. To I, was, I was like, it'd be don't better if I didn't have a go. I mean, this this wears me out inside. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mostly when you're 
you're, you're a big faith in God, man. It's it wears it, you know. It's almost like I mean, I have to pray for myself too, because yeah. like you said, I'm in this truck right now. Right. I mean, I, I, that's how I feel. I mean, have you have you talked to her about the spiritual aspect of all? Don't, that's, that's the only thing we have talked to her about. Yeah. I, mean, I'm always, I was hoping that would, you know. Yeah. It's like I. I, I mean, even you if you just like put it up for a Press it upon her the, the no? depth of the sin that's involved. Yes, yeah, sin. You know? I mean, that's she's the gonna, biggest deal. She's gonna live with it the rest of her life. She and does. The depth of that that stain of darkness on her heart. She does. She's and, just gonna yeah. have to figure out. Hey. Between her and the men of yeah, please don't take the question offensively at all. Just, just one, just one. Did you use the word sin and like oh, yeah. talk about like offense against God, yeah. the wrath of God, and all that kind of this stuff? Is, and this is, this is, the, this is the battle you're fighting. And I'm going to tell you this because I'm, I'm fighting the battle kind of yeah. with you. Uh, I'm out here with you. Yeah. I mean, I'm not protesting, but I'm out here with you. I'm the same way you guys do about it. Their biggest deal, and I'm going to tell you right now, these kids are growing up, getting beat up by these liberal media and the agenda and everything else they got going on. This is a problem. They're trying to break up the home. Right. So if you if you well, know that, they're trying to take first of all, they take off and they just break the home. The there you go. So what they're doing is selling, well, it's just it's just sin. Everybody else sins. And you're just looking at them going, what the fuck does that mean? You know what I mean? Sodom and Gomorrah said yeah, the same thing. Yeah, thank you. So it's, you know, exactly. <laughs> said the same exact thing. Do you mind if I ask your first name? Would that be okay? Yeah. You're just in some other circumstance, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, man, you know, I see you go to church. And I think, that I, you know, I think that you love Jesus and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like I'm under the wrath of God. Could you, have you ever thought about kind of how you might give somebody a brief presentation of how to be right with God? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. You get first and foremost, you get a Jesus. Through Jesus, you're going to make it to heaven, right? Mm-hmm. So, yes, we are. We're born sinners. I get it. But, um... I mean, you need to confess your sins. I mean, I don't think this, I mean, you know, one sin to another. But, I mean, this right here, this is this is against every thing that I have. So, I mean, you know, hey, are you out there? Did you lie, cheat? Yeah, maybe you might want to ask for forgiveness. This, on the other hand, takes somebody else's life. It's a different story. They didn't have a say in this. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, I don't know how you can go about it. What else you can tell? Because, I, I mean, we... I've talked to our pastor from our church and talked to him about this and how I can get to get with her mm-hmm. and, and so forth and so on, you know what I mean? Yeah. To make the decision. Either, you know, hey, have it, give it to us, have it, give it to adoption. Yeah. Have it. Yeah. Compared yeah, I mean, to what we're doing. Say, you know what I mean? Have really it compared. Church, even if you guys couldn't take care of it, I would almost guarantee there's probably someone in your church well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. that would be willing to adopt. Our, and our church is big and it's number one on selling on adoption. Mm-hmm. We're big on adoption. So that's what I'm I mean, when I mean I've tried everything before I had to fuck a whole other of us, I've tried everything that I can on my side. You know what I mean? Everything I can. What, um, like, what in your mind, what did Jesus, how does Jesus solve the problem of sin? If you don't mind me asking like, your thoughts on the matter. What do you mean? Just like, so I, I, I understand that I'm a sinner, right? And that God is holy and that there's this huge disconnect, right? And that I'm dirty and filthy before God. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the wrath of God is coming upon me at some point when I come under judgment, you know? But I feel like, but Jesus, the sense out there is that Jesus can rescue us from that. And I just wondered if you had a good understanding, according to the Bible, of like how Jesus does rescue us from the wrath of God. Yeah, through his, through his death, his blood, he saved us. Yeah. I said, you know, and through Jesus, that's how we get I was just wondering if he if he'd say it, you know. Yeah. Because you got to understand, like, I, I ask that question and people say, oh, it's because Jesus guides me to live better. You know, and I can I can put the the scales because are right by my so actions. You know, the ultimate example of being good. That's right. So right. It, we can never that. we can never fill his shoes. So there's no way we can ever ever be that good. We're we're going to be sinners. We never we can't be there. That's why Peter when they were going to crucify him, he said he was not worthy to be crucified. So upside yeah. down they crucified. Him. Right. So he you know, but that's the, you know, I, hey man. He had a good I, sense of his unworthiness before it, yeah. God. Yeah, just you know? like just like we do. So yeah. if you're going to have to pick a disciple. I'd have probably been Peter. We had this conversation through a men's group. I get it. I yeah, understand. Yeah. I understand where we're all at. I get it. That's good. That's good. You know, most people don't. That's why, because I just have concern for you. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah, don't have concern I'm for I'm not me, a, man. I'm not a good man. You know, no, Jesus I, rescued me from my sin. None of us are. I just love to other people have oh, yeah. the rescue it's, of it's Jesus. It's my favorite. You know? It's a good question because my favorite question, we've been asked that before, and they're like, well, I'm good out here in the world. Yeah. It's like, huh? That's not going to get you. You're right. not good enough. Not, not good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your, your goodness is filthy. So, through right. Jesus, is it going to be the only way you're going to get there? So, you better put your faith in Jesus. That's yeah. how we look at it. So, yeah. yeah. And All right. Y'all mind if I get in my truck? I get to see you work. I understand. I understand. Can we pray for you real quick? Without you don't. Okay? All I can do is to go back to work and just keep doing his work. Man. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right? Hey, look, man, if 
God, if God doesn't choose to do a miracle today, make sure your daughter knows the gospel, the law of God that convicts her as a sinner and as worthy of hell, and the gospel of Jesus Christ that raises sinner from, sinners from the dead. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. We're good. Yeah. Actually, might as well. Yeah, would you mind? Would you please? Thank you. It'd be better for us if you could move, yeah.